The Ministry of Equity, under the stewardship of Honorable Joachim Henry, is seeking to realign and strengthen the Public Assistance Program, PAP, through the implementation of a much-needed strategy for graduation aimed at empowering beneficiaries and fostering economic independence. The importance of empowering individuals rather than foster independence on social support services is central to the success of the initiative. The government's commitment to this principle was underscored recently by Minister Henry as he highlighted future plans for the rollout strategy for graduation from social assistance in St. Lucia. In his April 25, 2024-2025 budget presentation, Minister Henry assured that his ministry will apply the strategic approach outlined in the strategy document to the public assistance program. Mr. Speaker, as I mentioned during my last year's budget presentation, our waiting list of persons who are qualified for public assistance but cannot be placed on the program keeps growing. Mr. Speaker, to address the needs of our most vulnerable as, as a country, we must apply these interventions to social upliftment, empower and to facilitate economic inclusion of our most vulnerable. Minister Henry emphasized the critical need for transparency and objectivity in the administration of social welfare programs. He announced that the graduation process had commenced with comprehensive training sessions for ministry officials focusing on the adaptation of a public assistance program operations manual. This manual, he says, will serve as a guide to ensure transparency and fairness in the selection process of beneficiaries. Let me break it down a little. Individuals from Welfare Group 1 with a score of 68 and below will be referred to as indigent poor. They will be eligible for welfare support and they will remain on the program. Individuals with a score between 68 to 69 referred to as poor will be on track for exiting the public assistance program. And those with score more than equal or more than 79 or who are considered non-poor will be placed in two clusters. Cluster one, these individuals will be offered short term, a short term based on their needs, while individuals in cluster two will be given notice to exit, to exit the program. Mr. Speaker, there are some people that cannot graduate from a school if you're not in the school. And then some persons who are on public assistance are not, cannot be on public assistance because they are not poor. Because public assistance are for poor persons. And if you are not poor, how do we graduate you? Through the implementation of a strategy for graduation, the government of St. Lucia aims to reduce the number of existing public assistance program cash transfer grant beneficiaries while simultaneously adding one to the beneficiary list. This approach seeks to not only alleviate immediate financial burden, but also to equip individuals with the skills and resources necessary to thrive independently in the long term. To date, the Ministry of Equity continues to apply the St. Lucia National Eligibility Tool, SLNet 3.0, approved by Cabinet in 2019 to identify eligible persons for public assistance. Currently, over 3,000 households have been deemed eligible and receive a monthly cash transfer grant from the government, with over 700 of them being deemed non-poor and should be weaned off the program. Meantime, some 1,500 new applicants have been assessed as eligible to be placed on the program. However, space constraints remain a major issue. From the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Chevrolet Marius.